Hey everyone, my name is Tasia. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to be doing the reveal for November. This is a monthly subscription, so we have two subscriptions. The monthly subscription and then our kawaii subscription. Two completely different things. This one's the monthly. Uh, being that it's month specific and signups are available from the 20th through the end of the month so if you sign up anytime between those dates in August you will get this November kit shipped to you on the 5th of September I cannot believe we're already doing September November like talks of fall so excited um, we have a lot of different sizes to choose from we have vertical horizontal print pression weeks print pression b6 uh, cousin Hobonichi Weeks and Itty Bitty. I'm gonna go over all of them here. I'll put a link, ooh, I'll put a link in the description bar down below. It'll take you to the website. It'll have all the information regarding pricing and signing up. And um, I think that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me via email, support at sweetkawaiidesign.com, or you can leave a comment down below. Um, but email is definitely the quickest way. So let's jump into vertical and horizontal first. I'm so excited for this kit. The colors are super rich and beautiful and it's filled with like a fall floral type of theme. So with the vertical and the horizontal you'll get this monthly overview. The names are a little misleading, vertical and horizontal. That doesn't necessarily mean that's the planner you need to use them in. Um, it's just the height of the full boxes that are different. I'll p I have a size chart up on the website under the FAQ section, but I'll also kind of call out the sizes as I come across them um, so you can kind of see if it'll work in your planner. But this is the overview. This works great in like a 7x9-ish size planner. You can definitely... Uh, make it fit for you. I tried to design it to where if you were to trim it, it's okay because the days of the week are loose so you can stick them where you need to. But you get your top banners, you get your days of the week, these cute little strips. You get your side banner with the cute little woodland critters. One of my favorite things about fall is that the woodland critters get to come into play. You have your little icons for like birthdays and bills and all those types of things, paydays, date covers little quarter boxes and then you have your wacky holidays so you get one day every day for the entire month and then you have your full boxes so this is the monthly overview that's going to come with either the vertical or the horizontal no matter what size that you choose you will get the die cut and so this is printed on our removable matte vinyl so if you wanted to stick it some to something you can if you wanted to leave it like this you could as well and then let's jump into the sizes. So when it comes to these two sizes, the jumbo sticker is a five by seven. And again, it's printed on the removable vinyl. So if you wanted to stick it to something you could, I like to leave it as is. Sometimes I'll laminate it. Um, and sometimes like if I don't have anything going on or maybe I have a note page, I'll just stick it in there. But it's super cute. It has the critters, it says eat, drink, and be thankful. So that's the jumbo. For sheet number one, you get your Thanksgiving countdown. You also get stickers to remind you when the kit is paid and when the kit ships. So if you're already signed up, the recurring charge is on the first of the month and then the kit ship on the fifth. If this is your first time signing up, your initial charge is going to be when you sign up. The kit will still ship on the fifth with everyone else's, uh, but going forward, those are the charge dates. So again, you have your countdown, you have a happy Thanksgiving, you have them at the table, little cornucopia. So cute. So that's the vertical and the horizontal. This is the color scheme, super pretty. Like I said, those colors are just so rich and vibrant. I think they're really pretty. You get a uh, little this week stickers on the bottom. So all of the stickers are one and a half inches wide for these two kits. The only difference is the height of the full boxes. So vertical stands at 1.9 inches tall and the horizontal is 1.65 inches tall. So it's just slightly shorter, but sometimes that makes a really big difference. But you have your blank schedules, your cute little full boxes, so hearts full of thanks. Hello November, some leaf garland, some TVs, some bills. For page number four, you have all of your checklists. And again, the only difference is going to be the height of them. But again, that super pretty color scheme. 
Sheet number five, you have all of your half boxes. They're one and a half inches wide, so these sheets are the same. You have all your full boxes, so gobble till you wobble. Gather and give thanks. My rolls are homemade. Oh damn, with the beaver and happy Thanksgiving. And then these little florals, I think they're just so pretty. So that's page number six. Page number seven, you have all of your icons and typography. Do a slow little scroll there for you, little florals to decorate, and then your typography. Page number eight, you have your weekend banner, your blank habit tracker, and your quarter boxes. And then you have more full boxes. So you have the wishbone, says, oh snap. Uh, the eat, drink, and be thankful in a full box. The adorable little raccoon, a grateful sticker, just super pretty. I think, I don't know, there's something about fall floral. I think of it as like a dried flower and kind of just, I love the colors and everything. So it's kind of our go-to for fall. So that's page number nine. Page number 10, you have that same floral for the date covers. And then for the bottom washi, this is the design. Got a little landslide of stickers going on over here. But that's the design there. So pretty floral. You get four weeks worth. So that's the vertical and the horizontal. Next up, we're gonna do print pression weeks and we'll do print pression B6 because uh, they're very, very similar. I'll point out the differences. All of the boxes are gonna be the same size as the horizontal kit. So one and a half inches wide, 1.65 inches tall. The overviews are sized differently because the planners are different sizes. So this is page number one for the print pression week. So you have that skinny banner on the side, your little floral pieces, your date covers. You get all of your wacky holidays and all of your icons. And then for the print pression B6, it's the same, it's just sized differently. So your sidebar, your washi, your date covers, your wacky holidays, and your icons. For the jumbo stickers, those are again different because of the size of the planner. So the Hobonichi Weeks is skinny, and then the B6 is a five by seven, so it's slightly smaller than a five by seven. That way it can fit on a five by seven page without going edge to edge and making it really hard to work with. So those are the jumbo stickers. Next up you have, again, the Thanksgiving. We're gonna go a little quicker because they're pretty similar. Page number two is different in the sense that you get a little less headers just because the planners are so much smaller. I think that these come in really handy. So you get that pretty color scheme, the This Week stickers, your schedules and your full boxes. Again, the same. Checklists, half boxes, full boxes. Do another little slow-mo. I love this one. Last year when I did it, I think it was just a photo of the rolls, uh, but I think him chowing down was a really cute one. Your icons, all of the icons across all of the kits are itty bitty, so that means they're a half inch or less in height. Weekend banners, definitely different because the B6, the Saturday and Sunday stack on top of each other, so it needs to be the width of one column versus the print pression weeks, they're side by side, so it can be the width of two columns. So that's the difference for page eight. You got page nine. You got page 10, which is the date covers. The B6 doesn't have any washi, the print pression does. And that's what it looks like. I've heard, I'm pretty sure I heard that um, they're not making those planners at the moment. Something's changing, so definitely I'll keep you guys in the loop. When things change, these will probably change because they're made for those planners. So if you're using those sizes for something else, um, there's definitely options. The horizontal, like I said, is very, very similar in size. Um, next up, we have the Hobonichi Cousin, which is this guy here. And so this is a really fun planner, one of my favorites that I've been using. You have your monthly overview, and the monthly overview I changed a few months back. Um, it used to be where the, the monthly banner went like this, but now the monthly banner goes across the bottom. 
and you get your sidebar. So that way you have a little more functionality for the planner because with it taking up that entire sidebar, I felt like you just didn't have much to do, like much room to do anything. So that's what it would look like. You have your wacky holidays and your icons. You have your jumbo sticker that's sized to fit. We're gonna go just a little quick again because these are all the same stickers, they're just sized differently. So instead of one and a half inches wide, this is 1.31 inches wide uh, to accommodate the columns like that. So it can fit really nicely. You have your headers. Your full, um, your blank schedules. I really like that one. That one's really pretty. Checklists. Your half boxes and your full boxes. Page number seven. Number eight. The rest of the typography I squeeze in on the other pages because they couldn't all fit on page seven. You got your date covers. And then your bottom washi. So two weeks worth of bottom washi plus your little half boxes. So again, all of the same stickers. They're just sized to fit the Hobonichi Cousin perfectly. And again, like I mentioned, every single size is gonna be getting this die cut. Next up, we got Itty Bitty. The Itty Bitty is made with just tiny planners in mind. No specific planner, just a small planner. Uh, so you have your monthly overview, which is a little different than the others. Um, you have your top and your date covers. People have used this in like their mini happy planner. It looks so cute. You got your full boxes, your wacky holidays. The sidebar is like a Franken sidebar where you get to pick and choose how long and what you have in it. And then you have your icons there. Your jumbo sticker is a four by six. Again, all the same stickers, just size to fit. So these are one inch wide, so way smaller. Like this is one and a half inches. So you can see it's like a really big difference. One inch wide, 1.27 inches tall. So they're tiny, but they work great if you need tiny stickers. You can just see with my thumb how much smaller they are, but you still get all of the same full boxes. They're just sized down. Your checklists. The layout of this kit, the sheet, the like the stickers on the page are a little different. They're all there though. Your weekend banners, your garland, your habit trackers, quarter boxes, the rest of the full boxes, your date covers, your icons and then your bottom washi. Last but not least, we have the Hobonichi Weeks, which is sized, again, specifically for that planner. It's a pretty unique planner when it comes to the size and the layout. So, monthly overview, you have your side banner here, your cute little washi, your date covers, and then your wacky holidays. Let's do one last little spin through these. Then your icons, your jumbo stickers, size to fit, and then you have your uh, countdown, your date covers, and I mention this every time, but it looks like these are all separate stickers. It is one long strip like this. I just make it white like that, so that way we can still have this splash of color, but then the date dots aren't like this weird little white square just floating on the date cover. Um, they go on the white portion, so it makes more sense once the date cover's on there. But you have that. The full boxes are definitely different. They're long. You can use them on either side of the planner. If you do use it on the left side, it covers the date covers, but it still looks really cute. Your blank schedules, your checklists, some of the typography, your little, they're designed like the half boxes, but the Hobonichi is so small, this is like a full box. More of those your little icons, the rest of your typography, your habit trackers, your weekend banners, your four weeks worth of washi, 
and then you get top um, top washi as well. So the top washi, the rest of the full boxes. I couldn't get these into full boxes, but I still wanted you to have them, so I just made them into little single stickers, which in the Hobonichi weeks I think works out really well. Um, but that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the November theme. Again, signups are going to be available from August 20th through the end of August. After that, the kits will ship on the 5th of September. Unlike the Kawaii subscription, these kits do come into the shop. They are kind of slimmed down in the sense that this would be its own kit, um, this would be its own kit, this page would be different. So for subscriptions, this one is exclusive to the subscription, and so is the Jumbo. Um, it comes with free shipping, and I think that's it. One thing I do want to mention, um, and I'll be going over it on Instagram and in our Facebook group, is that uh, we have run into a supply issue when it comes to our vinyl. Not to worry, we are still going to be able to produce and make all of our cute little goodies, but we are going to be changing the vinyl. It's a really good vinyl. It's still matte. It's still removable. It's still um, the great quality that we produce. It's just a different brand. Uh, we work with 3M and they're having production issues due to the pandemic, it's finally hit us. I know it was with other vinyls that they were carrying. We just got lucky and it was never our vinyl, but now it's our vinyl and they are wiped out. I called so many different suppliers of 3M. I called 3M and it's just, it's just bad news for them. <laughs> um, good news for us though, because we were able to find a solution. I'm happy with our choice. It's something that I've tested in the past, so it's not a hasty decision. I know what we're working with, and I think you guys are gonna love it, but don't be startled if you get uh, the material and it doesn't have this branding on the back. It's still gonna be what you've come to love, just a little different. Um, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.